Buy everything. And I'm here to tell you what to buy, but it's everything, right? You're watching this because you like tech, so why not get a .tech domain? Sometimes it's really hard to come up with a good domain name. Well, if you've got a .tech, that's already half the battle. Intel, Viacom, and the biggest electronics show, CES, all have .tech domains. So you've got one day left until the sale. You can get an extra 10% off the 95% off that you're already gonna get. How are they even doing this? If you're like, hey, I've already got a .tech domain. Well, you can also save 80% on your renewals. Head over to go.tech slash BFCM syndicate. It's the time of year when everyone goes out and spends all their money because it's when all the sales happen. And I'm gonna let you guys know what to look for because sometimes the new stuff comes out and it's on like crazy, crazy sale. But you know, last year's stuff sometimes can come down even lower and be a really good deal. So let's jump in. We're gonna look at uh, deals on Fennec stuff. So the, that's the first thing you need to do is head over to Amazon and look for Fennec or epicpants.com. Look for Fennec, Say it'll save your marriage, guaranteed. 100%, yep. I'm not for sale, top dollar. So we're gonna cover technology, hardware, maybe some camera gear in there, audiophile gear, and we're also gonna cover some fun stuff like role-playing games. We're talking about core rule books and stuff like that. So watch till the end, because you might miss the deal that you were looking for. So we're gonna start off with the hardware stuff for your gaming rig and whatnot. Right now, you need to go grab a Steam link before they're gone. Now, first off, you can play your Steam games anywhere in the house. You can also use it to run app, stream content from one place to another. It's a really, really awesome device that did not get uh, the recognition it deserved. $2.50, just get it right this minute. Also, if that's not enough, you can uh, turn this into a retro gaming system. You can install RetroArch on there. Maybe I should do a tutorial on how to do this. So yeah, you can, Turn your Steam Link into a full little retro computer and then bind your uh, you know, controllers, all kinds of fun stuff you can do with it. Keep your eyes open for deals on media if you need to add a little bit to your phone or something like that. Now, if you're looking for a mouse or a that. controller, look no further than right here. These are going to be on sale. Look at these prices. Look at these prices. So they've come down quite a bit. This has a 3360 sensor. It's extremely ergonomic. This one features the 3310 sensor and a very iconic classic shape. And this is also down in price. Now, the, the gimmick with this one is that it can be an X input controller or a direct input controller. All you do is you hold down the home button for five seconds, and then your computer will recognize it either as like a regular Xbox controller or as a direct input. So you can use it with all the old games that don't support X input. Um, I quite enjoy it. That's why we made it. So grab one of these while it's on sale. It'll be on sale until just after Cyber Monday. Sales not live today, but come back tomorrow and everything's going to be 20% off. So stock up on shirts and don't run around naked. All right, let's improve your gaming rig. And we're gonna do that not by buying the latest greatest. We're gonna buy the stuff from last year at a huge discount. Like, check this out. This is a 1070 Ti. It's close to the speed of a 1080, which means it's close to the speed of a 2070. We're talking like, you know, five, six FPS slower in some games, seven, eight in others, but still very respectable performance. Now, if you look like at a 2070, look at the price on that. So 150 bucks extra for a 2070, but it's only about 30 to $40 as far as like extra performance goes. This is a way better deal. Uh, 1070s, 1080s on sale. Look for those. The EVGAs are actually a really good price right now. And I like their cooling units quite a bit on these. Now, if you want to step down in the price a little bit, well, the 590 is a little bit faster than the 1060 and around the same price. So you have to check if you know if you see a 1060 for less than this or $200 on crazy sale, grab a 1060. Those are great. But this is also something that will allow you to play. Uh, mostly this is going to be for 1080p and 1440p gaming. But, you, you know, you can push 4K gaming with some games like RPGs and that sort of thing. I wouldn't try to, you know, play 144 hertz with one of these, unless it's an older game. The price on some of the 580s is really nice. Step it down in price one more time. Uh, keep your eyes open for deals on the 580. 590, good deal at 279, but the 580, if it's 200 or lower, that's a really good deal uh, for a graphics card that's about the same speed as a 1060, maybe a little slower in some games like The Witcher and stuff, but a little faster in others. Look for deals on the 1050 Ti as well if you're on a, a budget but you want to be able to game 1080p uh, at decent frame rates. Look around. So yeah, there's a lot of a lot of uh, kind of expensive ones here, but then, oh, hey, 1050 Ti, four gigabyte for 134. So just keep your eyes open. You might see some really good deals on the 1050 Ti. 
And that's about where I would uh, round it off at the bottom when it comes to graphics cards. CPUs. Some of the last generation stuff is going to be going on sale, but some of the newer stuff from AMD is already on sale. Like the 2700X is a beast for productivity, but also it's pretty good for gaming. For the money, it's a better value than a lot of the Intel stuff, but the Intel stuff does have an edge when it comes to speed overall. So just look at some of these. The 1700X is a really nice deal right now, and it's still a beast when it comes to just cranking and crunching numbers on the lower side of things look for some deals on the ryzen 5 they're really fast for the money and uh, they also have decent clock speed so they're going to be good for gaming so watch for deals on the ryzen 5 2400g uh, even the you know like generation ago the 1500x those are still pretty good and for the money that's really good now if you live anywhere near a micro center if, there, if you have a friend who lives at a micro center, if I lived by a micro center, I would go out and put on mustaches and buy one of these for each of you guys and mail them to you. But this is a ridiculous deal. You can place your order right here and then pick the store you want to pick it up in. But yeah, guys, if there's one of these anywhere near you, go ahead and get it. And while you're there, I may as well grab one of these too because it's on sale for $60 off. And even at this price, this is an extreme extremely fast CPU. This is the one that I use personally because it's really, really fast for gaming uh, and it's a good price when it comes to that, but it's also very fast for rendering and that sort of thing. Next up, if you're looking for a gaming laptop, I've seen this one go as low as $599 here and there. And this one is pretty well equipped with an i5-7300 HQ uh, and also the GTX 1050 Ti, 8 gigs of RAM, 256 gigabyte SSD. So this one's pretty loaded and you're going to be able to game with that GTX 1050 Ti. So if this goes on sale for $599, it is going to be a really nice deal. Just keep your eyes peeled. All right, so memory is going to be getting a little less expensive, especially during the sale. And DDR4 is extremely expensive, but if you guys find something that's like this anywhere between $100 and $130 for 16 gigabytes of decent quality memory, this is 3000 megahertz memory, um, I would just snap it right up. If you're on a you know pretty extreme budget, this is not that bad of a deal. Uh, 2666 memory, I would recommend for uh, Intel rather than AMD. Um, Intel is not as affected when it comes to uh, memory speed. All right, so you got all your, your gaming stuff in order. You got all your stuff for your new gaming rig. Need some games. Humble Bundle is still having their fall sales going on until November 27th. So get over there. You got a few more days left. Now, Biodynamic makes some of the best headphones on the planet. Uh, really nice studio reference headphones so this is based on their custom ones this is a closed set of headphones so it doesn't have quite as big of a sound stage but it still has a really nice sound quality decent bass um, and it has a microphone now normally 319 dollars that's that's no it's not good 159.92 it's better than any regular gaming headset out there like just any any normal brand or any gaming brand or whatever it's gonna have a way better sound profile than any of those so these are legendary and for around $70, $80, they're really good. If you guys see them on sale for $69 or whatever, grab them up. They have amazing sound. They're pretty comfortable, but the uh, the pads do go quicker than most. They have the cleanest and flattest frequency response range of any headphones uh, that I can actually think of off the top of my head, and especially in this price range. You can clip a microphone to the bottom right here if you like. Uh, these are closed but they have a decent soundstage uh, for a closed set of headphones. If you want to open, this is an extremely good deal. The Hi-Fi Man HE400i, uh, there are planar magnetic headphones. What does that mean? Well, inside here, there's actually a sheet that vibrates. It's not the standard uh, cone that you're used to seeing as far as speakers go, and it gives you a really tight, clean sound. I mean, $499, I, even then I think they sound amazing for $499. The sound stage is huge. You'll be able to tell where people are coming from when they're way around a corner. 164 is like, yeah, just grab them before they run out of these things. These things, they sound freaking amazing. Now, if you're on a really uh, large budget, well, no, not those. You can check out the AKG K240 Studio. And these are semi-open, so they give you a decent sound stage. If you've got a lot of people making noise in the room, open is not good. You want to grab some of the closed ones like I was talking talking about before. So I typically go toward what you would call studio headphones. And you can clip a microphone on these as well. So what mic would you want to put on there? How about an Antlion Mod Mic? So this is what I use on uh, my headphones at the office and also at home. You just clip a little magnet on the side of your headphones, and then you put your microphone on there. There's a few different varieties, and there's also a secret one coming out in a couple of days. I'll tell you about that, but these sound better than most uh, microphones that come with your gaming headsets out there. And there's a few different varieties out there. 
Now, if you need an amplifier for your headphones, this is one of the amplifiers that uh, we worked to help produce. This is the ARC amplifier from Layflower. And uh, this one is unique in the fact that it has a microphone input and it's not a pass-through. There's actually some, you know, electronics on the inside so that you'll have a nice clean mic input right here on your amplifier. We helped them work on this a little. We're not the you know, electrical engineers behind it, but we did work on this. So you can see the price is $249. I have word from him that it is going to be $199. So you guys can head over there and grab up one of those. I love full frame cameras. There's some huge 45, 50 megapixel you know, cameras out there. If you're just getting started and you want a full frame camera that doesn't really destroy your bank account, take a look at the Nikon D750. This is a beautiful camera and it'll work with your Nikon lenses. So if you're a Nikon person, almost like a no-brainer, this thing takes amazing pictures. Over in Canon's camp, the 60 Mark II has come down in price to make room for some of the, you know, some of the bigger cameras at the top of the line, but this is still one hell of a camera. 26.2 megapixels, and it's a full-frame camera with a really, really nice autofocus system. So if that's important to you and you want like that crazy 45 point uh, autofocus system. This is one of their better cameras for that. All right, now here's a deal uh, that is going on now. I hope it's still going on, you know, by the time this video comes out because it's a really good price. This is the Sony Alpha A6000. This is a mirrorless camera, 398. That's a really good price. So this is great for people who want to be content creators, uh, just be able to start recording some video and that sort of thing, but also have the ability to take decent pictures. At this price, it's a really nice little camera. Now, if you want to step over to 4K video, as well as being able to take decent, uh, you know, decent pictures, this is a micro four thirds camera, giving you a huge range of options when it comes to lenses. And this will allow you to do 4K video. So it's probably about the best price you're going to get for good 4K video with interchangeable lenses. So if you're getting started and you want to make content that has a nice crisp 4k look get a decent lens put it on this save yourself some money and uh, who knows maybe the price will even come down by black friday all right let's have a little fun let's play some games look for the DD players handbooks to go on sale at some really low prices maybe lowest ever these are already really good prices right now i mean 27 dollars. also modifius entertainment is having a sale on a lot of their stuff so you're going to be able to get like the star trek if you ever wanted to you know if you ever want to get a bunch of guys and girls together and pretend you're i don't know uh, a crew manning a starship going on away missions and stuff this is the collector's edition but if you want to save a little money you can get the regular edition right there and over on drive through rpg they're having a really good sale uh, a lot of the stuff on here is pdf but you can get you know pretty decent prices on some of these pdfs so check out drive through rpg if you're looking for some more games to play so justin sent these over i have not played this game he's not here to tell me how good it is but imagine if you send it over it's a it's probably a good version of star wars but uh, there are going to be some deals on the Star Wars RPG core rule books. Oh, look at this. He sent me Harry Potter Lego sets. But they're on sale. Well, that's, that's a huge deal of a couple of dollars of savings. $2.10. Wow. That's such a deal, Justin. <laughs> so, yeah, you guys should go over and grab all this Harry Potter stuff and uh, Amazing Beasts and all that stuff. What else? I haven't even opened. I, did, I decided to open these on camera to see what else he's... He said, I said, give me some fun stuff. Legos? Hey, everybody, Legos. How does that make you feel? Apparently, Big Trouble in Little China, the board game, is just slashing those prices. You got to get your hands on that, don't you? What else we got here? Oh, the Expanse board game, huh? That's on sale, too. Boss Monster. Ton of fun card game. Highly recommend it. And if you want something that's similar but more technology cyberpunk hacker stuff netrunner is a ton of fun check for sales on that seven wonders all your board gaming merriment right here i haven't played this I, i'm not going to try to uh, say i know how to play on any of this stuff i'm gonna i wish justin was here what so check this out you're gonna buy this laser tag set aren't you look at this kid you can almost hear him going awesome i wonder if i wonder if anybody dies all right, so Justin thinks that you guys should grab this. Uh, ammo gear, infrared, laser tag, tag blasters, and vests. X-Bone. This is gotta, this is gonna be a joke. Why, why has he done this to me? Why are you giving me these Xbox codes? This is, uh, he knew, he knew I was gonna open these on air and, and be like, what the hell? Think Geek is having a no, no, they're a competition for us. Fuck them. Anything really cool on Think Geek? Hmm. 
Hmm. And last but not least, over on ThinkGeek, the Star Trek schematic illuminated display, this beautiful, ooh, look at that. It's pretty cool, little glowing thing, little LED thing. 19 bucks instead of 40, so that's a pretty good deal. Anyway, that's the deals for this year. Let us know what you're getting in the comments. Did you enjoy wallowing in your consumerism? I believe we all did. Hopefully you saved some money and hopefully it uh, makes you happy because that's what we're looking for when we spend all this money, right? Deep happiness. Okay, I got to go spend some money because I'm sad. Then I'll be happy.